He's the outrageous, behind-the-scenes songwriter for LHL. But before we knew him as Bunch, he was known as just another face in the crowd. Well, Bunch used to tell me that he didn't know where he fit in. But I thought he fit in just fine with all of us. But he never gave up. Bunch brought an element to the group of strangeness that, quite frankly, we were afraid to explore on our own. He would find an ally in Mothman, intergalactic DJ. Yeah, I remember one day the police came to my door and they asked me if I knew Bunch's last name. And I said, Bunch's last name is... After traveling around and joining up with several groups, he found that Baltimore was where he belonged the whole time. Join us as we explore the mysterious true life of the canine human with one name. The story of Bunch. Okay, we're going for it. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Take two. My name is Bunch, and I currently live in Baltimore. Um, where did I get my start? Well, it all started, I used to hang around this guy, Landis Expandis. In 2020, many musicians suddenly found themselves cut off from their studios, their clubs, and their bands. That's when Landis went deep into his secret basement laboratory and created two clones of himself. He named one Harry and the other one Larry. They became Landis Harry Larry. Uh, he would, uh, I'd follow him wherever he went. He'd go into the kitchen and make a sandwich and drop some chicken on the floor and I'd grab that. And uh, he'd uh, make some ice cream, and drop a little bit on the floor. I'd grab some of that. Uh, we went on walks. Bunch was his beloved poodle that followed him everywhere. To watch him make music, and he'd bring me along um, to to some gigs. I wanted to do some music too. I wanted to make music. I decided to put together a band too. You know, just like his. Bunch quickly put together some money and bought a one-way ticket to Los Angeles. That's when he would cross paths with a well-known doo-wop artist named Clyde Claude. I wanted to find some industry, you know, like some HBO, some Netflix, some Disney. Somebody to pick me up and uh, get me in the mix. I did get a job out there, but it was delivering pizzas for a little bit. So, you know, you'd find me mostly in the audience at a, a dance party, you know, a rave or something, or a rock band. Bunch would frequent the dance circuit in California. From rock and roll to rave, Bunch made sure he would sample every dance floor available. Dancing a lot of music's what I do, man. I'm down. Always down for it. I'm always in. All in. There's Bunch is all in. I looked out into the crowd and I see this white furry face just bopping to the music. I thought it was one of the janitors shaking out a mop. We became good friends in the world of doo-wop after that. His lyrics were odd for sure, but kind of right for the time too when you think about it. Clyde Claude discovered Bunch and they quickly put together a group called the Chevrolines. It wasn't long before they had their first hit record, Hustle Game.
So I'm at this festival, man, this big festival. And one of the DJs is Mothman. He's up on stage doing his wicked beats. And I'm in my own zone. I'm doing my helicopter kicks. I'm dropping down, picking it up. And I spin around. And all of a sudden, Mothman was right in front of me. He had walked off the stage straight up to me, which must have been like, you know, three blocks, you know. But he's like right there in front of my face. And he's like, hey, I was checking out these moves that you're doing. And they're ancient martial arts moves that no one knows about on this planet. And I was wondering how you, it came to be that you knew these moves. Uh, I think it was called Cranetto, Cranetto or something. And I said, man, these are my dance moves. I've always known these moves. I made them up. And he was astonished. So we hung out, you know, went back to an after party. And I saw these people hanging out in his crib, just like crazy drawn out majestic quilts and capes of velvet and silver lame. And, oh man, these outfits were banging. There was like neon. I think there were sparks coming out of someone's eyes. I couldn't even hang with such costumes, you know. Uh, turned out it wasn't an after party, but this was some group called the League of All-Star Irregulars. A neighborhood watch program lost their group leader, and Mothman, intergalactic traveler, stepped up to fill the spot. Soon other super-powered members would join this program, eventually forming what is known today as the League of All-Star Irregulars. And we kicked it a little bit. And I showed them my moves, and they were all astonished, straight up astonished. And they asked me if I would join the group. And I said, join a group with people with mad costumery and, and crazy beats and dance moves? Hell yeah, I'll join up. So I joined up. I joined, I joined the League of All-Star Regulars. It's the League of All-Star Irregulars, fighting evil with justice. The League of All-Star Irregulars, fighting evil with justice. Entering the fray every afternoon and day, making sure corporate elites don't get away with white-collar crime. Clacken. Captain Fast Hammer. Majestic Jackal Mothman This eclectic group of superheroes join together on a mission to ensure equality for all people of our galaxy the League of All-Star Irregulars, fighting evil with justice. The League of All-Star Irregulars, fighting evil with justice. Entering the fray every afternoon and day, making sure corporate elites don't get away with white-collar crime. Yeah, uh, we all had superpowers. Bunch did not have superpowers. What Bunch had was an ancient martial arts skill that was not taught here on this planet. What you made him taught here on this planet. What you made him very rare. Uh, he was an odd kid though. He, he brought a DJ with him on all of the missions. Mothman took a liking to him and he was a good kid. Why did I leave? Well, I'll tell you. We went on this one mission, and we, we went up against this uh, this evil crew that was going around New Orleans, uh, taking over all of the clubs. 
and what they would do is they would um, extort money from them and then shut down all of the live music in all the clubs. You know, they were hitting them up for some cash about every week. And they said no live music. So there was nothing else they could do uh, legally. And they sent us in. And that day we went in with just brute force, man. Uh, I've never seen such stuff going down. And they were breaking out firearms. Um, you know, I carry around uh, my own beat. You know, sometimes I bring a, a, a person in to, to, you know, be like a side DJ while I'm doing my dance moves. And I would call out the BPMs. I'd be like, give me 155, you know. And it was a 155 BPM evening for sure. And so my DJ put on some beats and I just went into some moves. I went down. Dropped it down, picked it back up, went into a helicopter kick, and my foot caught the jaw of the leader of this crew. And he was pissed, man. He brought up his AK, and um, the hammer jumped in front of us. And so the bullets didn't hit me. And, you know, they just bounced right off of Captain Hammer. So everything was cool with that, but I was astonished. I was like... I didn't, I didn't know that we were fighting. I thought that it was a dance battle. So that's why I left because I really abhor violence. And Mothman understood. Mothman and me, man, we've remained tight over the years because he's in the music and he gave me a, a foot up in the business, you know. She had a hard time in L.A. because everyone wanted to know about his head. Why do you have a dog's head? Why do you have a dog's head? And of course, after the novelty wore off, his record sales started to wane. Poor dear. This Clyde wanted me to put some stuff up on YouTube. And he's not that tech savvy, so he wanted me to do it. You know, Clyde's kind of old. Um... So I put stuff up on YouTube, I put our hits up, you know, and they got one like and one view. So I wrote a song about it. One like, one view. Oh, can I get a little feedback, baby? Thank you some of your attention, baby. Can I do to get reaction from you? One like one view. I've got nowhere to hide from this frustration. It tears me apart. Uh, Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification. It goes straight to my heart. Bunch's music went from halls and clubs to street corner pubs. And his experimental music style clashed with doo-wop. He put out a solo effort that included the single Define You. It went completely over people's heads or was ignored altogether. wasn't down with it. I like to put some squalor on things, you know, put some static and some timbre, you know. Now, he wasn't down with any of that stuff. I came back home to check out my friend Landis Expandis because he had 
started a band with those two clones that he created, and he called it LHL. I went to a supermarket where they had cleared it out to make this video, and I went right up to him. I didn't know he was shooting the video. I went right up to him. I was like, hey, what's up? And he was like, hey, look at his bunch. I was like, that's right. Damn right, his bunch. What's up? You know? It's pretty cool. Okay, let's go. All right, you ready? Give it to me, like, bounce it. Bounce it like it's a circus, right? I want people to, people to, to think of a circus, you know, because the supermarket's like a circus. Right? Yeah, put it in minor key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try that. Got to back up. Please back on up. You got to back up. Yeah, please back on up. Oh, if you don't back on up, we're gonna make it happen and I'll tell you what. Don't, don't rap. Don't rap. Okay. We're not gonna rap. say back the hail up. Back the hail up. Back the hail up? Yeah. Back the hail up. Got to back up. Got to back up. Back yeah. the hail up. And put your hand up. Na 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 Put the hand. Yeah. Na 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 na. Back the hail up. Yeah. Let's try that. Let's try that. Back up. Back the back hail up. Na 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 na. Got to back, back up. up. Please back, back the hail up. Na 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 na. Okay. Okay. And then, and, 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 and. I like That's that. A hit. Okay. So I didn't have to like try to fit in or anything. We we're all really tight, you know. So you know, after the video, you know, I talked to him and stuff, and he said, "Will you come aboard and and bring some of your music, and you know, we'll do some songs." And I was like, well, "I don't even know why I didn't do this in the beginning. This was it." While Bunch was in LA, Landis Harry Larry assembled what's known today as Studio A. on a couple of videos comes some of my own stuff but mostly be a writer you know so you can hear my stuff performed by some professionals all right spaceship came down stayed for a little while people of the world the founding member of the league of all-star regulars Over there are the pioneers. None other than Mothman. 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 Light beam. Mothman. Came to Earth in 2019. Computers hacked. Club is full and the stage is packed. Mothman. Survive. Close to the flank of staying alive. Broke the record since you've been gone. 48 hours can't marathon. In your kitchen with chocolate ice cream. It's just you and a special live stream. DJ Mothman up on stage bringing only the best. Not trying to hear your drum request. Floor's packed. Mothman can't miss. Dude walks up. Can you play this? Give me that. Taking the chucha. Cause Mothman came for the future. Your taste is basic and distant. Bring a request to my robot assistant. Swift. 
Bunch gained new popularity while working with Landis Harry Larry. But what his fans really wanted to know about was how a canine human came to be. Huh? Oh, right, right. You want to know about back when I was on four legs. Yeah, I guess that's important too, you know. And people see a canine human sometimes, they don't know what to think. In Baltimore, people don't really give me a second look, you know. I... I traveled around the states and some places people weren't having it. They are asking so many questions and I didn't want to answer their questions. But here people like, you know, I fit right in. It's where I was the whole time. Um, yeah, that began in the lab. Landis was experimenting on these chemicals that he got off the dark web. He was working on the creation of Harry and Larry, the clones. And then all of a sudden, huh? We can put it on part two? Alright. We can do this in part two. Punch out. Don't miss part two, the story of a bunch. I think every band needs that wild card. And Bunch is our wild card. He's our Sid. Barrett and Vicious. And he belongs right here. In the land of the freaky people. in the park, laughing and a-playing, no one's walking after dark, everybody's staying, obeying, I need some bread, and I gotta leave my place, there's a man right behind me, and he's touching on his face, got my mask and my gloves on just in case, try to move, but he's taking up my space. Na, 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 na. You're standing too close. Please back the hell up. Na, 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 na. I see people in line standing at the Sam's Club. Three men walk up from behind like they're at a dance club. They roll right up. Cause they wanna ask a question Keep six feet and that's not a suggestion They want to go with me to a jam session To make some beats, at least that's the impression Six feet's close enough A bunch of got to back up Please back the hell up Na 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 You're standing too close Please back the hell up Na 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 Okay, 